currently taming my hair. Let me sit you guys down. I only used three flexi rods in the front of my hair because the back was still kind of like, okay. But I'm still trying to figure out like the right product to use because it gets frizzy really, really fast. But these are the new curls that I did last night and they came out really, really good. I want to separate them, but when I separate them is when they get frizzy. So I have a meeting at 12 for my urban medicine program. And I was elected to be one of the student leaders, which is super exciting. So we have a meeting with the urban medicine program leadership, like the director and stuff. And I think we're just gonna be talking about like some program updates and what is going to be happening differently this semester slash year in the program. So yeah, that should be fine. It's an hour and 30 minute meeting. And I'm a little bit nervous for it, to be honest, just because it'll be my first official meeting as a student leader, and I don't really know what to expect, but I'm just like ready for whatever it's gonna be, and it'll be fine. Like, it's not even worth stressing out about. It's also 20 minutes away, so like. Tomorrow is my first anatomy lab. And I am definitely nervous about that. So because of COVID, we can't have as many people in the lab as usual, which means that the number of times that we get to go to the lab in person is limited, which kind of sucks. But I am pretty sure we're gonna have, well, actually, I'm not sure, but I think we're gonna have more opportunities to do some dissections in like subsequent vlogs. So it shouldn't be a big deal. But yeah, I'm just getting ready for this meeting. And I actually don't have any class today, which is beautiful because I need to prepare for lab tomorrow. And it's my very first in-person anatomy lab ever 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 like i didn't even take i took anatomy in my post back program but i didn't take the lab portion so i've never done any like dissections or anything um so it's gonna take me probably like three or four hours to get ready for that but i don't have since i don't have class it's not going to like interfere with anything so literally all i'm doing today is this meeting i worked out and oh also i signed up for a zoom personal trainer this morning it's the person who i was working out with last year i can't believe it's 2021 this is my first vlog of the year that's so exciting i was working out with her last year from like i want to say april through july yeah, I think April through July, which is crazy that that was like still during quarantine or whatever. But after I moved in August, I kind of like fell off with my workout routine. And I'm, it takes me a while to kind of like get adjusted to new places and new things and just like find my stride again. So I finally feel like I'm ready to start back up with like person training and um, just all of that together. So I'm excited for that. I'm happy that i went ahead and signed up for it because i was like debating like should i spend the money on this blah, blah 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 but it's just one of those things that i feel like is a good investment for myself so i'm not even going to second guess it and also like sorry this looks kind of crazy i'm just elongating the curls um but when i pay to work out like i'm not skipping i'm not skipping a day because even though it's only $75, it's just like me not showing up for the workouts or doing the recordings afterward. I basically could have just taken out like $75 in cash and thrown it in the garbage and that's crazy. So, okay, that was just a quick little life update. Um, block three of medical school started Monday. It's only Wednesday and it already feels like I have seen a lot of content but this block is called, what is it called? I think it's called Skin, Muscle, and Movement. I think, I'm pretty sure. But it's all anatomy focused, which is nice because 
it's like the thinking process for anatomy makes sense to me it just like it clicks after i see it a couple times so yeah it should be a good vlog i'm excited i'm excited to be filming this vlog i'm going to show as much as i can of like preparing for lab tomorrow because we can't show the video recordings that we have of dissections but oh i can show like me putting on my scrubs for the first time because i've never ever worn scrubs before like i was a medical scribe for like a year but we had polos and like khaki pants to wear so i never um wore scrubs there and that's really like the only hospital experience that i have to be honest so i'm excited to put on this oh. Oh no, okay, no. I just <laughs> had a moment where I was like, I don't have my, I realized I didn't have my white coat, but then I remembered that we don't need our white coat for lab. We need our, why is it so hard to open? We don't need our white, our white coats for lab. We need our long lab coats, which I do have. So I will definitely show me in my scrub for the first time tomorrow and just like, getting ready i probably will post this vlog on friday i think fridays are like a good upload day anyway i'll figure it out let me get dressed 11 47 and i just need to throw on like a reasonable top <laughs> after my break but then one of my friends texted me and was like turn on your tv so this is what i'm looking at right good morning i am still in my scarf and my flexi rods i'm in class right now i have it on mute because the lecture is over she's just answering all the random questions in the chat right now but I'm still in my scarf and my rods because I want to keep them as I work out at noon. So I'm just, I'm not on camera for class. So I just am rocking this a couple more hours. It's 9.48, so this is gonna be ending soon. And then my anatomy lecture starts at 10. And that is the lecture that corresponds to the lab that we're gonna be doing today so i am going to try to show as much as i can i know it won't be a lot but maybe i can show like the lockers or the content that i'm going to be excuse me focusing on during lab i don't know i'm gonna figure it out but let me go ahead and log out of this class and get ready for the next <laughs> rest i cannot believe this is my first i don't need my stethoscope i was just wearing it for a picture <laughs> but these are my scrubs and my lab coat this was donated by the m2s who didn't need them anymore i guess so they gave us these oh i just remember i want to put on some leggings underneath because they told us that after we're done, like the formaldehyde smell is gonna be pretty intense. So I have on a t-shirt under here. I'm just gonna throw on some leggings under the pants so that I can just like slip out of these um, in the bathroom. And I'm gonna pack a little bag. I wanna be out of the house by 2.30 and it's 2.17 right now. 
so let me get myself together and i will be right back okay i just threw on these adidas leggings because um, like i'm taking a lift and like i don't want to be stinking up the place just inside out so i have on a shirt and leggings why am I out of breath? Okay. These are so big. I'm just gonna like this and tuck. Tuck this in. Cool. And then I'm not gonna wear my lab coat there because it's so long but I'm just gonna carry it in a bag so that once I get there I can just swap my coat for my lab coat let me see here I'm putting on some socks it's 2:21. I need to request my lift like right now <sighs> so in lab today we are gonna be dissecting a um, dissecting the arm. So while I'm waiting for my lift, I want to show you oops, what I'm going to be dissecting today. I guess I can sit here. Um, where is it? So, we're, wait, what page was it? I think it's like, of course I can't find it. Uh, okay, there we go. Perfect. So, this is the dissection that I will be doing. This book is Grant's Dissector. And it is a step-by-step -step of what we're going to be doing in lab. So I know that we're going to be dissecting the axilla, which is the armpit area. And here is a diagram of that. And one of my classmates said that he only read it over one time and that they have copies of this book at our lab stations so that's going to be really helpful like I don't feel like I even need to bring this with me like there is a step by step like place a cadaver in this position remove this use this it's very very clear what we're supposed to be doing so not too concerned um, but I am excited just to, like be on campus this is my very first in-person medical school session like this is the first time that it feels real like even wearing scrubs and like a lab coat it just like not that it didn't feel real before but it's like official now so and i'm happy that i'm taking a lift because one i don't have to drive and then i can i can listen to music listen to a podcast and just like calm any nerves that i have but i'm way way less nervous than i was um, at the beginning of the week especially after talking to one of my classmates and he was just like yeah it's really just kind of you getting the opportunity to explore different parts of the body and it's not too strict or strenuous and it's a really small group so we have our own cadavers which is going to be so interesting but sorry it's so dark i'm waiting for my lift now so let me grab excuse me this is my lab coat i have on my gym shoes i have my clothes underneath I have my AirPod case. I'm just gonna put on my coat. I think that's it. I have my mask. I need to double check for my wallet. Let's see. Wallet, make sure. 
I have my ID. Because we need our IDs to access the buildings. Okay, cool. My ID. I have my cards. My keys. I'm trying to take as little as possible because we have to use these lockers and I actually did not have a lock, but luckily one of my classmates, I texted her and was like asking if she used the lock when she went to lab yesterday or Monday or Tuesday. What was, what's today? Right, anyway, she actually said that she had an extra lock and I was like, is there any chance that you are on campus right now? And she said yes. So that's so perfect. I'm going to go on campus, meet her in a study room, and then grab her lock, go down to the basement, lock my coat, my purse, and this bag away, and then put on my lab coat and then just head up to lab. So they want us to be there. 10 minutes before we're scheduled to start um and i'm scheduled to start at 3 30 so i need to be there at 3 20 and because of COVID protocol they're being really really strict about the number of students who come in at the same time and also the entrance that we use so i think i'm supposed to use the back entrance which is the entrance that i'm not familiar with so i'm definitely going to be getting there early it's 2.34 right now, and it's like 20 minutes away, so I have plenty of time. Okay, I'm rambling. I feel like my lift is probably pulling up in a couple minutes, so I'm just going to use the restroom again and chill. See you in the car. So I slowed down this section of the video because I realized that I hadn't recorded anything after I left the lab this day and I just wanted to share how everything went, how I liked it, and how I'm feeling about doing it again. So it was a really enjoyable learning experience. It was not as gory as I had imagined and the professor that we had she was really sweet and patient and helpful if there was anything that we couldn't identify she would come and help us with it whether it be like cutting with the scapula or using her hands to point out um, a certain vein or artery and i really could have done it all day long we only had an hour and 50 minutes but that was just enough time to cover the parts of the body that we were responsible for that day so I would definitely be looking forward to doing it again next block and sharing more content like this. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.